welcome to the Xeon Remnants channel. And in today's video, we're taking a look at a nerf prop that I did based off the Destiny sidearm, the Drake's Promise. I originally had did a road to review for this prop, and I had put it up, and I just hated the way it came out. I Normally, when I do road to reviews, I'll record a little bit as I'm building, record a little bit as I'm building with that in mind. Why well, I did that, and it just didn't come out the best so I took it down and we were gonna have a regular review anyway like always so um, in case anyone for some reason was wondering why there's no road to review for this because I took it down because I didn't like the way it came out uh, but anyway we took a full review at this uh, sidearm prop um, that I just made because I got the idea and I saw this gun I thought would be good for Drake's Promise I think I could have done a little bit more with it to make it look more like Drake's Promise um, I think some of the foam to nerf integration could have been done better. And my sanding wasn't on point like it normally is. So to be honest, um, I don't know. It looks nice. I can't really complain. The paint job came out really nice. And I think for the most part, maybe you can tell it's supposed to be Drake's Promise. Or if not, at least it looks like a cool blaster. Um, so let's just take a look at it and see what I did to it. And then you guys let me know what you think. I'm obviously not really high on it. Because I'm very hard on myself as it is anyway, but we'll take a look at it nonetheless. Um, so this was made from a, what was it, a zombie strike something. I can't think of it. I'm sure someone will tell me because I don't remember what it was now. Or a comment guy will put it in the bottom like he always does. Um, and basically the mods that we did to it was uh, Drake's Promise has a separated um, trigger guard. So we cut this here and we added a piece of plow plate here and then we... Um, put some epoxy here uh, to cover the hole um, we added a barrel this does still fire through the barrel which is cool um, then added a top portion kinda like the Drake's Promise has the top coming out over the barrel and this is what I said could have been done better um, I added some putty here and kinda sanded it down it, oh, it just came out and uh, it came out alright Initially, I was going to like cut this whole top piece off and like do a whole thing. And For whatever reason, I didn't do that. I think that would have looked much better than what actually came out with. Um, then we added the little spiky gimmicks here. These are just little foam pieces cut out. And um, then here, uh, these are pieces from Atheon. And these are the little uh, parts on the Drake's Promise that come up and over. Uh, by this part and um, I just had extra pieces because I have two Atheons and um, just made this I drilled holes through the screw holes here and here and these just went right in um, so they're actually very easy to take out and then I just painted the uh, handguard I wasn't do a wrap but I mean it's already there so I just painted it and then everything else just painted uh, metallic brown gunmetal um, silver rub and buff um, silver rub and buff for some of the weathering which I don't know if you can see, you can see a little bit. On the edges here. And then black wash as normal. Um, I think the paint job came out pretty well. I just think that the actual design that I did could have been done better. Um, like some of these spikes are kind of crooked and whatnot. And um, like I said, I don't really care for the integration here. Um, but all in all, I mean, it looks pretty good. The paint job came out pretty nice. I feel like the silver could have shown up better. You can see it here at the angle, the silver. But, you know, subtlety is good. The other thing that, for some reason, I, like I said, I don't know what happened. I'm normally really anal about sanding. And, like, here, where I covered up, like, a screw hole, and here, where I just couldn't get rid of this Nerf logo, and I just didn't sand it all the way down. I don't know what happened. I'm super crazy anal about sanding, even here, too. So I don't know what was going on with me, because normally my sanding is on fleek, as the kids say. I hate that term, but whatevs. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it wasn't there, for whatever reason. Um, does still fire and everything. I made it so that the dart will still come through this barrel. Um, and I guess we will show that here now. Alright guys, so don't mind my mess. I'm in the process of moving. So we have here, cocked the gun. Can we shoot Johto Cast over there? Boom! Oh, did we miss him? Oh, see, and therein lies the problem with having this um, 
barrel extension is that every now and then, especially if you're fiddling with the gun a lot, if a dart comes out just a little bit, it's not going to clear and it's not going to shoot out properly. Let's try that one more time. There we go. All right. So it basically fires the same, just you got to be careful when you're, um, you know, uh, loading it again because if, if these uh, darts, you know, fall out a little bit, it'll hit the barrel and it'll get caught. But such is the nature of the design. And next time when I do another Drake's Promise, I'm going to clear this a little bit more. But other than that, it fires great, same as it did uh, brand new. Obviously, you can't open it up again because all the screw holes have been sealed because um, I don't like screw holes. So, screw you, buddy. But other than that, that is the review for the Drake's Promise. Um, it's not a bad looking gun, you know. It's not, not bad, but it's not my best work. I am working on some commissions, so that's going to be really exciting. My first ever prop commissions. I'm making a fusion rifle completely from scratch. I already started on that, so expect a video on that. And also, um, uh, the client also wanted me to make him a scout rifle similar to the Fallen Sky rifle that I made earlier uh, last year so look out for that guys this prop will be on sale on my ebay and my etsy page um so go ahead and check that out links will be in the description below to check out both those pages let me know what you guys think in the comments below um give me some ideas if i ever do another drake's promise wh what could i do to make it look more like drake's promise i think maybe the colors were a bit off but the color on drake's promise is weird in some pictures it's like a weird brown and other pictures it's like or i don't know orange I mean, I'm kind of colorblind as it is, so I had, like, my dad help me and kind of pick the best color <laughs> to go with it, to be honest with you. Um, and I like the colors, I just don't know how accurate it is to the game. I feel like it's not. I know that the hand wrap isn't accurate, um, but I figured I'd keep with that brown color and use, like, a green, and that's what I did. So, right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment what you think. Subscribe for more content and subscribe for those awesome, awesome Team Titan Destiny Machinima episodes we are cranking out every month. A lot of fun making those. If you enjoy Red vs. Blue, then please check it out. You might enjoy ours as well. And until then, next time, ladies and gentlemen, Zeke Zion!